Hello students, in this video we are going to study about lesson number 5 database concepts using LibreOffice uh, Libre Base. So this is a chapter which belongs to 12th standard commerce students. So we will solve the exercise for this. So the first question is fill in the blanks. So dash is a collection of related data. So the answer for this is whatever is the collection of related data is called as table. So your first answer will be table. I am just writing the answers here. So it's table. Now the second question is queries are used to dash information from database. So our queries are always used to retrieve the information. So with the help of queries only we can change, we can retrieve the information, we can uh, do all the things. Or whatever changes we have to do in our database. Next, the representation of data in a printed form is called as dash. So, if you want the, your data in a printed form, then it is called it called as report. Okay. So, any type of data which is presented in a printed form is called as report. Now, we'll come to the next question. That is the true or false. So, the first true or false is, forms are used to collect the data from the user. Yes, with the help of forms, we collect the data from the user. So, it is true. Next, menu bar is present below the title bar. So, this is your LibreOffice uh, Library Office tool. Okay, so here you can see that the first is your title bar. After that, you have a menu bar. So basically your menu bar consists of file, edit, view, insert, tools, windows and help. So all these are your menu bars. Okay. And these are your toolbars. Standard toolbars where you can see different different tools. New, open, save. So these are your tools. And this is your title bar where you can see new database.odb. Okay. So this is the database and its extension which you can see in the title bar. So first is your title bar, second is the menu bar and third is the standard toolbar. Okay, so the answer for this will be true. Next, columns are called as records. No, rows are called as records and columns are called as fields. So it's false. So this was all about the true or false. Let's, uh, let's come ahead with MCQs of one correct answer. So the answer for first MCQ is rows in base are called as dash. So the rows in base are in the, always called as records. Okay, so the answer for it is records. So the first option that is A is correct records. Second MCQ file extension of base is so you have so many options here but the file extension for base is dot o d b okay so it is dot o d b d b database so you can easily uh, remember this without any confusion. Now let us come ahead with match the pairs. So in the match the pairs so the first match the pair is query okay so the answers here for it will be now always the query is used for what? It is used to retrieve the data from the database. So the answer for query is to retrieve the data from the database. Now the second is report. So as we have seen that reports are always used to generate a copy, a printed copy. So report is a printed form of data. So once your data is ready then finally you create a report on it. Next comes your form. So what is a form? Form 
is always used to collect information from the user. So this is your form. Okay. Next is table. So table. What is the work of table? Table is a collection of data. So basically uh, we enter the data in the form of rows and columns. Now let us come to question 4. So question 4, first question is answer in brief. So here you have to write answer in brief. Okay. So these are the uh, questions which I will be showing, uh, showing you uh, in the textbook itself. So the first question is define the database. Okay. So basically data database is a collection of data items. Okay. So there are several collection of interrelated data items stored in an organized manner. Okay. So this can be the answer. You can elaborate it more as per your convenience. Okay. Then the second question is what is a query? So query is always used uh, by which we can always retrieve a data. Okay. So here you can just say like that that the queries are always used to retrieve a data. Third is define a report. So a printed form. Report is a printed form of data. So you can just write it like report is an printed form of data. Next is uh, explain the work area of database. So the work area of database is in the initial uh, very first page of your chapter. So we'll just go there and check it out. Okay, so here we have the work area part. Okay, so the work area, rest of the part below the standard toolbar is called as work area part. Okay, I'll show you the work area part by opening the database. Now this is the answer in detail. Okay, you have to answer the uh, all these answers. The area below the standard toolbar is your work area. And here you can write a query is used to retrieve. A query is used to retrieve information from the database. Okay. So, uh, I'll show you the work area. Now, as I told you that this is a title bar. The starting one is your title bar. And these are the different, different menu bars. And these are the standard toolbars. The whole area which is left behind, this is your working area including this as well as this okay this right hand side left hand side below up and these database so all this is your work area okay so that's it so this is all about the exercise which was given in the textbook so do it okay so work area is uh, mainly divided into two planes left and right plane okay left plane defines the tables so here you can see you have table, query, you have forms and reports. So this is your left plane. And basically in the right plane you can do the activities. Okay, you can do all the things and activities whichever you want to do inside your database. So this is all about the exercise. Do solve the exercise in the book along with the answers. Okay, so this is all about the exercise. If you want to see the practical videos of a database concept using LibreOffice you will get on this channel. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe the channel.